I was at dinner with my lady and I got a call from a random number and sure enough it was KD and he was like, if we can link up, I'd like to get a piece from you. I went back to the table and my wife was just like, you gotta be <laughs> me. <laughs> I just seen his work on Instagram and I respected what he did. Just the detail in his portraits is unique. He did my Tupac and I got the Wu-Tang logo at the bottom. This one was Rick James. I just really loved the picture. He gave me, uh, Aaliyah always been a huge fan and probably my first crush, you know? And Left Eye came right after that. Oh, man. Another crush? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I always just loved the pictures, you know, and yeah. how they look on my leg. It'd be dope to see that detail on my leg. It's a canvas to me. After Durant, word spread quickly throughout the NBA. In my mind, I was like, I mean, I know he got this long wait list, but I might be able to jump the list. <laughs> Man, Steve's done. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten, nine. 14 or 15, I think. So this is like the Rushmore of the people in my family that raised me and, you know, played a big role in my life. So I started with my grandmother, and then it was only right that I got my grandfather. And then on the back is my dad and my uncle. And of course, I had to have my mom right here. This is the latest tattoo he just did, which is one of my favorites. I got the Buddha face right there. He did the Batmobile right here. Who's my favorite superhero? But having high profile clients comes with its own unique challenges. Like when KD and DeAndre Jordan invited Steve on a trip to Greece. It would be here where Steve's skills would be put to the ultimate test. I'm half on the floor, like leaning over, trying to get his knee, just taking up the whole plane. I was like, man, what if something fails in here? We're using too much in it, too much electric. I don't, it was a lot of stuff going, going on in my mind. No turbulence issues. Man, it was rough getting up there, for sure. Every time I look at this tattoo, it's, it's, I can never not think about that trip, that whole experience, and it brings back a whole lot of memories, so it's cool. Steve's work has been featured in commercials, magazines, and he was commissioned by Nike to design a Jordan brand shoe. How hard is it to get an appointment with you now? Every day I gotta say no to somebody. I only have two hands. There's a point where I had to kind of just draw the line and cut it off. But the NBA keeps calling. D'Angelo Russell puts the Knicks on top. Oh, -ho! Tatum with a slap. Who's the toughest guy and who was the biggest softy? Oh, man. You can't put me <laughs> on the spot. I got to give it to John Wall, man. John Wall can sit there for 10 hours, and he'll feel it, but he'll take it. And then I don't want to say who's a softie. Come on. Now I'll just say this. <laughs> I'll just say this. These younger guys, these rookie guys, <laughs> they gotta, uh, they gotta understand that these tats aren't put on in two hours. Steve's work has expanded beyond the court and into the hip hop community, tattooing artists such as Future and the late Nipsey Hussle. I mean, your, your skill set is not regular. You know what I'm saying? I got tatted by a lot of people, bro. So, your shit, the way that shit heal, the way the detail come out. You, yeah, so he did this. We spend a lot of time together just working on his body of work, you know what I mean? And putting his tattoos together. No camera, you know what I mean? Be like on stages. We can't afford to have no shabby tattoo. There's so much more behind these tattoos that means something to the person getting it, it means something to me giving it to them. Yeah. That, um, not everyone gets the experience, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just tough to talk about.